Hi, my name is Casey Ferris, and today I'm going to show you how to quickly color grade your GoPro footage, make it look great in no time at all. So as you can see, I have a whole bunch of GoPro footage. This is all shot in ProTune, and in different environments, some are overcast, some are sunny. So let's jump right into it. The first thing I'm going to do is make an adjustment layer and put it over all of my footage. Now on this adjustment layer is where we're going to put our LUT. Now, if you don't know what a LUT is, it's kind of like a preset for your footage. It makes the colors look a certain way. And so you can use a LUT for a bunch of things, but today we're just going to use it to give this flat footage some good saturation and contrast. So I'm going to go to my effects and I'm going to search for Lumetri. And there it is under color correction and I'm going to drop it onto my adjustment layer. Once I apply the effect, a window pops up and asks me to select a LUT. Now there's tons of different LUTs out there, but the LUT we're gonna be using today is called the ProTune to 709 LUT. It's from Ground Control. You can get it for free at groundcontrolcolor.com. I'll also put a link in the description. There's also a whole pack of these LUTs called the Hangtime LUT Pack, and it has a bunch of different styles. It has different variations of the LUT we're gonna be using today. It's absolutely awesome for anybody that shoots GoPro footage. So I'm gonna select Ground Control ProTune to 709 and hit open, and immediately you'll see a huge difference in this footage. It's much higher contrast, saturation, it actually looks, looks pretty good to start out. And if you wanted to leave it just like this, you probably could, but I like to tweak it a little bit because no matter how good your LUT is, it's not gonna be perfect for every shot. So I'm gonna do that by going to effects and typing fast color, and I'm gonna drop my fast color corrector effect on my first clip. That's gonna pop up in my effect controls and I'm gonna scroll down to my input levels. And this is where I can brighten and darken the highlights, the shadows, the midtones of the image. And what's cool is I can make little adjustments here. And because I have that adjustment layer with that LUT over the footage, it makes a big difference. And so I can adjust my white balance with the color picker. So I can brighten up my footage a little bit, adjust the white balance with the color picker. And there we have a pretty nice looking shot. And I'll do the same thing for the second clip, a little motorcycle action here. Same thing, I'm gonna pick my white balance. Maybe I'll boost the midtones just a little bit. So I'll scroll down to input levels and bring up those midtones just to give some detail when he's in the shade. Here we have some skimboarding footage. Drop my fast color corrector on that. And same thing, color pick the white balance. You can pick anything that's white, you just wanna make sure that it's not totally blown out or else it won't actually work. And I'll brighten this image a little bit and I'm actually gonna add a little bit of saturation it's because it's an overcast day. And now my last shot, which is this landscape shot, same thing, add the fast color corrector, pick my white balance on the clouds. I think I'm gonna tweak it just a little bit to get rid of the, that greenish tone. And I'm pretty happy with that. Bring out the mid-tones just a little bit, maybe crush the shadows. And it looks pretty good. Now let's look at these adjustments without the LUT. You can see these are just tiny little tweaks to the original footage, and once you put the LUT on there, it looks really nice. So let's take a look full screen. So there we have some awesome footage, four different shots, four different environments, all color graded in under three minutes. So that is the easiest and fastest way I've found to color grade your GoPro footage. I hope you like this tutorial. If you like it, make sure to let me know by hitting that like button. Also, if you know anybody that shoots GoPro, you might consider sharing this with them. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. Once again, my name is Casey Ferris. I'll catch you next time.